Okay, I'm going to do a kind of a reverse order um, on this battery mod kit that's on the XR650. Um, I'll do it here first and I'll mount the camera I'll start taking stuff apart. I'm doing this kind of for me because I'm going to put it back to stock, get rid of the bike, and then do this to mine. So the battery sits here. I pull it out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Yes. And they actually made a little battery box here for it. And there's two screws, sheet metal screws right there. I don't know why they didn't make the bracket bigger and just use these screws or these holes. But anyway, so it's got the battery here. You cut a bigger hole in the ear box. So I'm going to put that back in for now. Uh, they actually pop riveted. That's why. The fuse box onto the ear box. Um, I have, I think this is the starter relay. Uh, this is the positive wire going here. The negative comes from the battery and goes down here. I'm not sure where. Uh, the CDI box is in the ear box. <laughs> so, um, and that's sitting on, looks like maybe some Velcro stuff right there. Or glued. Anyway, the CDI comes down into the airbox. They just brought it down. Looks like they just notched out this area here. And I put the stock uh, suitcase back on today. Uh, when I sell it, I want it to be all stock, so I don't want to mess with it. So anyway, um, what's the air thing? So let's come over to this side. Yeah, we got the battery, uh, the fuse panel. My fuse panel, I've actually seen them zip tied right here. And I think that's where I'm gonna put mine, but I'm gonna have to wait, but um, this one's good. I mean, it fits here and everything, but that gives any water a chance to just come in here and sit. So I think, so I'm gonna figure that out. And I believe this is the starter relay right here. That's attached to this airbox bolt. And other than that, I think that's it. I put the stock carburetor back on it. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. I mean, it's a pretty easy mod. I'm going to order another fender for it today. Won't be stock, but it'll be a universal fender that kind of fits better than this. Um, but anyway, I. I know before I got this bike, I always wondered how you um, do things. And it looks like they ground down right here. These little tabs are not worn down, they're ground down. So um, then you got the wiring loom right here. So uh, this is kind of close to the shock. This part doesn't move, so no big deal. But um, anyway, that's the way the battery location has been moved on the X. R650L and like I said I'm going to drill these out and then I'll put the camera on a tripod and um, let you watch why I take it off you know because like I said before I uh, I got this bike I always kind of wondered what the process was or what you did so now I know and I'm gonna share what I know yeah, and here's some of the wires and the guy did give me a uh, extra wiring harness in case I needed it. So, but I don't think so. I think everything will be here, but it's nice to know I do have one. And other than that, that's about it. We'll get that on. And once I uh, got the old, everything back into the original Honda suitcase here, then uh, mm, I think it's pretty much ready to sell. I need to buy a Speedo unit because I want to put the stock speedometer and the headlight back on. And uh, got all the wires all separated here. I got to hook up the uh, throttle cables and stuff, but pretty easy stuff. So, and that's it. And uh, one thing I did discover is if you're running the CRF 450 uh, fork conversion, like that's on the Honda right there, my Honda. Um, I was going to switch the brake calipers. I hadn't done it yet, but I tried bolting this one up today, and it won't. It won't fit. Um, it's not deep enough. 
um, to allow the brake caliper to sit on the mounts and on the rotor. So evidently there is, you know, that one's been working okay, but I'm going to have to put this one back on uh, the CRF 450 parts. are going to have to go on the CRF 450 forks. And then my Honda brake caliper for the XL, XR, uh, it's going back on the XR forks here. But anyway, yeah, she's coming along. Like I said, it just, just didn't fit. So a uh, quick video. Like I said, next time I will uh, put a um, camera on the tripod and I'll uh, actually show you taking this stuff apart. And talk to you later.